We now turn to resolution 115. And again, the chair is not in possession of any salmon slips in opposition to 115 and will impose the rules of limited debate. The chair calls on Christina Plum, chair of rules and calendar to move resolution 115. I move resolution 115. Thank you. Speaking in, in support of resolution 115 is Daphna Gozani of California. Ms. Gozani. Good afternoon. Resolution 115 is sponsored by the Commission on Youth at Risk, the Commission on Immigration, and the Section of Civil Rights and Social Justice. We want to thank our supporters and the reviewers from the Rules and Calendar Committee, all of whom have provided extensive review and edits in the process of finalizing the resolution language and report. My name is Daphne Ghazani, and I'm an attorney at the National Center for Youth Law, Youth Justice Initiative. The Youth Justice Initiative is grounded in the lived experience of youth and families directly impacted by the juvenile justice system. Significantly, half of the advocates on the youth justice team, including myself, have been directly impacted by the juvenile justice system. This resolution recognizes that effective reforms of legal systems impacting fundamental rights of children, including those in the child welfare system, immigration system, and juvenile justice system, cannot truly be accomplished without active participation by individuals with experience in those systems. The resolution also encourages the legal community to promote effective, ongoing, authentic engagement in legal systems and advocacy efforts by those directly impacted individuals. As a commission, we identified youth engagement in legal system reform as a gap in existing ABA policy when we met last fall. Our members have spent a significant amount of time over the 2020 ABA year preparing the contact content of the resolution and the report. As part of that process, we solicited input from organizations across the country that have thoughtful youth engagement programs, several of which are also represented on the commission. We solicited insight and review from individuals who've experienced the child welfare system, juvenile justice system, and immigration system as youth, as well as other stakeholders in the children's law field. The final resolution reflects recommendations and extensive input from these perspectives and highlighted barriers to authentic engagement and participation of directly impacted individuals in the legal and policy fields. It is impossible to address those barriers without acknowledging the structural racism that is at the very root of these issues. As a result of the discrimination and biases that plague our legal system, Black, Latino, and Indigenous youth are disproportionately represented in child welfare, immigration, and juvenile justice legal systems. These are the very same populations that are vastly underrepresented in the legal profession. It is incumbent then in our fight for social justice that we as attorneys recognize and use our privilege to address these inequities, create a culture that values authentic youth voice and lived experience, and establishes sustainable pathways and supports for individuals with lived experience to pursue and succeed in legal and advocacy careers. Accordingly, we request your support in adopting resolution 115. Thank you, Ms. Kazani. The chair is not in possession of any salmon slips in opposition. The chair recognizes Lily Dorman Colby to as with a member with privileges of the house to speak in favor of resolution 115. Ms. Dorman Colby. Thank you for having me today. My name is Lily Colby. Over a decade ago, I interned for the ABA Center on Children in the Law. Today, as a lawyer, I'm proud to complete my term on the ABA Commission on Youth at Risk by speaking in favor of this resolution. I grew up in poverty and the foster care system. I have shared bunk beds and bathrooms and holiday meals with people of different races, religions, classes, abilities and disabilities, sexual and relationship orientations, gender identities and expressions. Through common experiences, I've come to care about many people who look, speak, worship, love and learn differently from myself. As I grew up, I learned what little power I had over the circumstances in my life. As a ward of the court, my daily life was drastically affected by the law. Where I lived, what conditions I lived in, whether I saw my brothers, were all government decisions. 
As one of less than 5% of foster youth to graduate from college, I've sought to help other families impacted by our foster care system. Along the way, I've met youth and adults with lived experience in our systems who've inspired me. By sharing the ways in which policies impact families, they've changed laws, they've changed regulations, and they've changed cultures. This ABA res resolution recognizes the effective reforms of legal systems cannot be accomplished without active participation by individuals who've experienced those systems as children and youth. Thank you to the ABA for taking this bold step and a special thanks to the ABA Center on Children and the Law for inspiring me personally to become a lawyer and work on systemic reform. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kobe, for your remarks and thank you for your service to the commission. The chair is in possession of no further salmon slips. Ms. Gozani, you have the right to close the debate on resolution 115. Thank you. I wanted to also lift up some comments from one of the reviewers of the report who has experience with the child welfare system. She gave us permission, but asked us to share the information anonymously and not name her. But she wanted us to really emphasize that this is the opportunity for the ABA to serve an example of how other sectors can engage people with lived experience. She noted that the report was comprehensive, well thought out and centered the constituents and service delivery, which is something that she hadn't seen in other areas. And so based on that and the other information that has been shared, we strongly urge uh, your support and passing of resolution 115. Thank you. Thank you for your remarks, Ms. Ghazani and your commitment to this House, we're prepared to vote on Resolution 115. All of those who wish to support Resolution 115 should vote yes. All of those who are opposed to Resolution 115 should vote no. Voting is now open. You have 10 seconds to complete the voting process. Voting is now closed. Those voting yes, 366. Those voting no, 15. The House has adopted resolution 115. Thank you. <laughs>